there. Welcome back to Building J.K. Reading World of Harry Potter by Dragonfly Sarah. That's me, everybody. Today we are building the Bo Batten's carriage. Um, and I made an attempt at the Abraxan horses that pull the carriage. Uh, it's built up the episode sort of built up a bit like a time lapse. We're going to jump on in and you're going to hear me talk through the whole thing. See you in a bit. Okay, so we start off building the carriage by doing a hollow sphere um, the size of a large house. So the way I figured out that size was I went into um, my testing world and I built the skeleton of a large house. Um, and I ended up with a uh, very large, uh, I think it was 14 by 8 by 13 on my radii. Um, and then I, uh, I summoned in the sphere uh, using world edit and then took off the sides to make it look more carriagey, you know, more... Uh, of a going forward motion, the sides are flattened out. Um, and here I'm adding the wheels to the carriage. So a large carriage gets large wheels. Um, I put the spokes in and uh, was happy-ish with the way the spokes came out, decided that uh, that back panel needed to go away, and then decided that the wheel needed to be bigger. Uh, a one radius wheel was not, or a one thick wheel was not really working for me. Um, didn't like the shape at all, so I summoned in two circles of exactly one radius apart to get that double thickness that I was going for, um, and ended up with this. I proceeded to copy the wheel to the other three locations rather than rebuilding it in each one. Um, here I put it in facing the wrong way and took it out and put it back in facing the right way. You hit turn a little bit there as I do that. Um, then as I flew around it, I realized that the um, carriage, the wheels were too far from the carriage. Um, so I took them all off and put them all one block closer to the carriage with only a one block gap rather than a two block gap um, between the edge of the carriage and the wheels. Um, the next thing I did was place uh, where the stairs will go, just a, a, a marker, so that I could tell that um, Maxine would have enough room to get down out of the carriage. Uh, finally, I lowered the whole carriage so that it um, was sitting on the ground instead of suspended above it. Next, I decided to work on the coloring. So um, the Bobatin's carriage is described as a um, frosted pumpkin look. Uh, the size of a large house. So we've got the size and the shape down now, and I was working on my color scheme. Now, we have no idea what the inside of the carriage looks like, so I didn't want to um, have the carriage accessible. So I decided that the door going in would be an iron door. You'd have to uh, apply redstone to actually get in there, and if you decide you want to get in and play around in the carriage, then apply your redstone and go for it. Um... Uh, and I tried to do a uh, random coloring uh, of just the light blue uh, and the light blue glazed terracotta. It did not come out looking right. I attempted to make the underside of the carriage not spawnable by putting sea lanterns on the bottom. That didn't work out really well for me either. Um, I was really starting to be at a loss of how to do this. Uh, so I undid all of my changes and took a little break, got something to eat, and came back and tried again. So 
So what I did is I went inside and built up a powder, a light blue glass um, wall for the sectioning off what would be the interior of the carriage. And uh, it, it took me a little while to build up so that the doorway was looking right. And I had this nice hollow area um, inside that was... Uh, for me to put light blue concrete uh, powder in. And so what I did after I had the inside wall figured out um, is I selected the carriage and turned all of the stone into the light blue glass. So now we have something that sort of looks like a frosted pumpkin, um, but it's transparent. So as I said, to fix that, I put the... Yeah, hi everybody. This is uh, Joey. He likes to get up in my lap while I'm recording, and I'm just going to leave him in this time. So say hi to everybody. Um, I'm putting light blue concrete powder inside the uh, wall, and it, it really does look like a powder blue carriage with the light blue concrete powder through the glass. Um, it took me a while getting stuck constantly um, <laughs> to get all of it in, but I, I think it came out really nice. Um, so I'm just going to stop talking at this point and let it play. Uh, you can see it transform into a glass bulb, from a glass bulb into a solid form. Um, here I was trying to get the doorway to be a little less obnoxious now that I had um, the uh, uh, light blue color throughout the whole thing. I didn't want the dark blue terracotta in. So um, I put the light blue glazed terracotta around the door and um, used uh, a light blue... Uh, concrete um, for the solid surface that I needed for uh, and then I put uh, we can Harry sees light coming from the windows and so I put some windows in that are in and of themselves light sources to provide that effect without doing a whole lot of work um, on the interior you did get a little snippet there of my doing an interior to place windows but that didn't last
So that, my friends, is the final Bo Batten's carriage parked about 200 meters from Hagrid's front door. Okay, so this was my best attempt at the um, Abraxan, the, the Palomino colored flying horses that stood um, as tall as elephants. Um, this is me actually making them twice as tall as an elephant and it still looks ridiculous. Um, I, I'm okay with the body, I'm okay with the tail, I'm okay with the mane, the head just looks ridiculous. And if I brought it in any further, um, it looked even more ridiculous. So I made the executive decision that we just were not going to have um, the Abraxans grazing next to the uh, carriage. Hope you don't mind. Okay, so that finishes up the Bo Batten's carriage. Um, the horses didn't get incorporated in, but working in Minecraft where my smallest possible block is one meter and I can cut that in half in height, but not in width. Unfortunately, that's the best I could do. Uh, next time we're gonna be building the Quidditch pitch and stands. And um, as always, uh, hit like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and check me out on Planet Minecraft. See you next week. <laughs>